Dylan and I sat in the living room. He wanted to know what he could do to pursue marriage with Chess, what he needed to do to have our blessing for him to marry Chess. They didn't try to hide anything with us. Right. They both were. Jackie said that he came home and said, I want to date Chesney. And Jackie's like, um, so you're really young. Dylan said, Mom, Chesney's my best friend. Twenty-seven years ago, Jackie and I we came up here for our honeymoon, and it was we enjoyed it. And so every year after the kids came around, then we brought them up here as well. It was funny because they they loved going down by the rocks, swimming in the pool. I think they ended up enjoying it more than we did, you know, because <laughs> this is their place now. We had promised both the kids that they could pick anywhere in the world to go, anywhere. And Taylor chose to go to Ireland. And Dylan had just said, well, can I bring Chess up to Bluefin? And so we went, okay. And so he proposed here, and then they decided this is where they wanted to get married. So it was like, it became a, another special place for them to do Bluefin has always been special to Dylan because we would always visit here as a family. And I think he wanted to share that with Chess. It was us, the Sutherland, the whole family. We all traveled from Arizona to Minnesota. We packed in together on a flight. So I brought her up with her family. She thought it was going to happen. But there wasn't any food, you know, opportunities. So I didn't, I didn't propose and she started to get, you know, impatient and upset because she was so disappointed because she thought it was happening. He wanted to come here and scope it out and see if she wanted to get married here. And she didn't want to agree that she liked the place until he proposed. And he didn't want to propose until he knew she liked the place. So. Um, but there's, the stalemate came to an end, and they agreed they, they liked the place, and Dylan proposed. I remember exactly what she said. I was too nervous. <laughs> but she said something about, well, I just want to get married. And I was like, well, and then I got down on me, one knee in front of the family and proposed to her. And then her and her family started crying. Finally, we're finally here doing this, and we're happy that we're all here to share it with you two. But I want you two to do something for me. I want you to turn around and look at all these people sitting here. You know what you just saw? Your family, your friends. You also are seeing couples here that have been living for decades as marriage partners. Ask them for advice. Lean upon us. We will help you turn this beautiful wedding day into a lifelong, beautiful marriage.
share something with uh, with everyone that every man here will appreciate not long ago there was a CEO of a fortune 500 company who pulled into a service station to get gas he went inside to pay and when he came out he noticed his wife engaged in a deep discussion with the service station attendant well, it turned out that she knew him. In fact, back in high school, before she met him, she used to date this man. So the CEO got in the car and the two drove off in silence. He was feeling pretty good about himself when he finally spoke up. He said, I bet I know what you were thinking. I bet you were thinking you're glad you married me, a Fortune 500 CEO, and not him, a service station attendant. No, she replied. I was actually thinking if I married him, he'd be a Fortune 500 CEO, and you would be a service station attendant. So, Remember this, Dylan. The point of all this is there's nothing wrong with consulting with your wife to get her input on matters. There will not be just one, but many times that she's going to make you look really good. And you're actually going to receive praise from others because of her. <laughs> Why can't girls do it? Hi. Hi. Oh. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. You good? You see? You like it? Mm -hmm. You spin your eye? Oh, thank you. Isn't that pretty? You're so beautiful. So do you. Thank you. Yeah. Are you Set aside time daily to communicate together. And that's one beautiful thing that uh, Chesney and Dylan, in your courtship, your communication, has been so good. And that's so vital in your success of a marriage is good communication. So Dylan, I give you my daughter. Treat her with love and respect, and she'll bring you as much joy and love as she has brought her older sister. And 
her mother and I since the day she was born. <laughs> Do you, Dylan, in the presence of Jehovah God and these witnesses, take Chesney to be your wedded wife, to love and to cherish, in accordance with the divine law as outlined in the Holy Scriptures for Christian husbands for as long as you both may live? Yes, I do. Do you, Chesney, in the presence of Jehovah God and these witnesses, Take Dylan to be your wedded husband for as long as you both may live. I do. <laughs> 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 